hello to Facebook community, my Google Plus community, everywhere that you see me online, hello, hello, hello. I wanted to come along and do this video. Some of you all are asking me about my hair, so yes, it's twisted again. And uh, I really do like this style because it's low maintenance for me. Uh, my hair is actually getting to a point where it's, it's much longer and it takes a lot of effort to maintain the styles, the upkeep and the co-washing and I have to do more. So I like this style. Yet I wanted to come along and talk a little bit about this style and to give a few business tips to my hairstylist. Now this style right here, again, I really like it. The person that did it, she did it. She did a good job. You know, um, you can see here, you know, she did a good job. Now I'll tell you the reason why I went with this stylist is because the stylist that I used before couldn't find her number. Okay. Could not find her phone number. I looked and looked, found an old phone number, went to voicemail. So I'm like, okay, whoa, this is just not working. So when the next stylist came to do my hair, she also twisted my daughter's hair. I said, how often do you follow up with your clients? Never. I said, how often do you send maybe a few maintenance tips? Not at all. And I'm like, well, how are you growing your business? Like, what do you offer for referrals? Nothing. So here's what I wanted to leave you with this is three tips, okay? And I actually wrote them down so I don't forget. Number one is whenever you do someone's hair as a hairstylist within your company, you have their number, you have their text message number, you can capture their email address by using a simple opt-in form and simply follow up with them every six to eight weeks. Follow up. The next thing that you can do is simply to follow up with maintenance tips. You know, every two to three weeks to say, you know, as you're doing their hair, they probably have questions about how to keep their twist or braids looking fresh or their style. Send them a few tips throughout the year. Maybe you just send one once a month. And then after it's six to eight weeks, hey, you know, it's been eight weeks since you had your hair done. It was an absolute pleasure to do your hair for you. And you know, here's a, a new style I thought might look good on you. That that's something that you can share with your client. They they've already invested in your services and they probably want to invest again. So give them a reason to. The third thing I have is ask for referrals and offer a discount. Now the lady that did my hair said, you know, do you offer some sort of referral bonus? No, not really. Well, I'll tell you, I know people. I have a YouTube channel, so if you do my hair and I refer people to you, you know, that's word of mouth advertisement and it's the best that there is, but reward the people that refer. You know, I'm into sponsorships and affiliate marketing and passive income, and I'm gonna tell you, I'd love to share your services. I share services that I'm happy about, but if you're in business, you want to get people that are just strong supporters of your business, so reward them for that. So those are my tips. Um, I've actually started helping some online businesses and offline businesses in my city because people are coming to me like, how do you do this and how do you do that? So, you know, I'll actually leave some information in the upcoming weeks about how you can get in touch with me if you want to work with me to grow your business, especially when I'm telling you these are three simple tips that you can use and I'd love to help you grow your business even further. So thank you so much for watching. Hairstylist, y'all look, get out there and grow your business. It's easier to have the lifetime value of a client versus going out and searching for a new client, right? All right, talk with you soon. Leave me any questions that you have below. Also, uh, leave me any comments that you have if you have additional tips that'll work for you in your business. And I'll answer the upcoming, I'll answer the questions in the next upcoming uh, series of videos. All right, talk with y'all soon. I gotta run. Peace.